Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert between uppercase, lowercase, and proper case in your Microsoft Access databases. You're all familiar with uppercase and lowercase. Proper case is where you capitalize the first letter and then lowercase the rest of them. That's handy with names. Today's question comes from Mira in Hamburg, Germany, one of my gold members. Mira says, my people are horrible at data entry. Half of them type in all caps, and the other half don't know where the shift key even is. I've got names of all kinds in my customer table. How can I clean this up? Well, Mira, there's a hidden function in Microsoft Access that a lot of people don't know about. It's called string convert. You may be familiar with uppercase and lowercase. But there's string convert, which can change it to proper case, which capitalizes the first letter and then lower cases the rest of them. Let me show you how to use all three. OK, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. You can go grab a copy if you want to. I'll put a link down below. And in here, I've got a customer table. Now, I was a good boy when I typed in all of my customers, and I typed in proper cases, but I know what you're going through. I used to do a lot of work with people who had, you know, technicians in the back room that had to enter in customer invoices and stuff, and they just left the shift key on the whole time, so you ended up with this, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, I, I get it, and you want to make it nice and pretty if you're doing mailings or, or anything, you know, uh, even envelopes and labels, you want these to look nice, so there's there's got to be a way to convert those over to what's called proper case. Let me put a couple in in just lower case here. Okay. And I'll put in a couple that are that are correct. Now, let's go over to a query, and I'll show you how these functions work. So I'll close that. Let's go create, and then query design. All right, let's bring in our customer table. Now, I'll just use this with last name, but you can, you can use it with any field that you want to. Okay, so here's last name. Let's come over here. Let's use the uppercase function first. Okay, so I'll just call this one UC, and we're going to say UCase and then last name, just like that. Let me zoom in so you can see that better. There it is. UC is the name of the field that I've chosen. All right, I'm going to give it the, the name UC. It's called an alias. And the UCase function converts whatever you send to it into uppercase. Now, make sure you got brackets around that. That indicates it's the last name field. You don't want quotes there, because if you put quotes there, it's going to actually use the word last name and capitalize that. All right, hit OK. Now, if I run this function, you can see, there it is. There's the uppercase version of all of those. All right, there's also lowercase. Let me shrink that back down here. Come over here. Let's do LC. We'll make it lowercase LC, LC, like that. And we're going to do L case, last name. Same thing. All right, run it. There we go. There's lowercase. Okay, now, the third one is proper case, but they don't call the function proper case or even proper or even P case. It's string convert. I know it's a little weird. So go PC, that'll be, that'll be proper case, right? Colon. And it's S-T-R-C-O-N-V. Why? I don't know. And then last name. And then you got to go comma three. Why comma three? Well, one is lowercase, two is uppercase. I'm sorry, it's the other way around. One is uppercase, two is lowercase, three is proper case. They should have made a good function out of that, but they didn't. And in fact, in my VBA classes, I teach you how to make your own custom function, which you could make your own function called proper case if you want to. But for those of us who don't use our own custom functions, you just got to remember that. It's string convert, last name, comma, three. All right, hit OK. And now we'll run that function. And there you go. Those are converted over into proper case. Now, if you want to fix all the names that are already in your database, you just got to turn this into an update query. Okay, now I have a whole separate video on update queries that explains them in a lot more detail. If you've never done an update query before, go watch that video now and then come back to this one. All right, but I'll show you how to change this into an update query. Let me save this query. Let's call this my customer cases, we'll call it, or just case. Customer case, just so you can see this if you want to take a look at it later. Okay, but let's make a new query. All right, create, query design, bring in my customer T. I'm going to change this to an update query. 
Bring in last name. You can do multiple fields if you want. I'll do first name too. It doesn't matter because they're all good. Right? Update two right here. All right, is going to be S T R C O N V, last name, comma three. Now be careful. See what happened right there? It put quotes around. That's why I say you got to be careful. Don't put quotes around there. Otherwise, you're going to get last the, the actual word last name for all of your fields there. You don't want that. <laughs> so make sure you pit, you fix that. It's one of my pet peeves with access. All right, we do the same thing with first name. All right, we're going to update to string convert and then bracket first name, comma three. All right, now when I run this query, you may get a warning message that says they're about to update six rows or whatever. I have those warning messages turned off in my database. But now if I go check my customer table, look, they're all fixed again. That's because they got run through the update query. All right, so that's all you got to do to fix your names. Now, if you want to fix these on data entry, in other words, when the person types in their name, you have to do it in something called an after update event. Now, that does involve a little programming, okay? You could do a macro with it, but I prefer VBA myself. All right, go watch my after update video, and then you shouldn't have any problems applying it to this, okay? One thing that this does not cover, and I'll save changes to this. This will be the customer update queue okay for my gold members who can download this template one thing that this does not cover are names like this um mcdonald donald okay or d'angelo like that what happens to those names let's take a look let's run the query again uh customer update queue run take a look look at that it just changed them to proper case, which is not necessarily always desired, right? If someone's got a name that's got a second capital letter in it, you may want to leave that alone. Now, that unfortunately does require some programming. I will show how to do that in the extended cut for members. Want to learn more about change case? In the extended cut for members, we will create our own pcase function instead of having to remember what string convert is. All right, I'll show you how to create your own global function for it. Then we'll create a function called my proper case for mixed case uses like I just mentioned. Okay, if someone types in all caps, it'll convert it. If someone types in all lowercase, it'll convert it. If someone types in a name with mixed case already in it, like McDonald or D'Angelo, it'll leave it alone, assuming they've already typed it incorrectly or they've edited it. Okay, so that'll be covered in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there.
Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.